Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas and I am joined by Christian and Anna. What up? Good evening. And uh, this evening we are doing some, some runabouts and runamucks. That we are. You know, since I figured out, we can start naming the or numbering the shows now. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Do, do you want to, or we could just not do that? What, what number, number are we on? This is, this is Microcasters 103. Oh, 103. look at that. Well, look at we, us. We passed a milestone and didn't even realize it. Yep. I've been saying it for about a month, and uh, Lucas and Anna said, Oh, Christian, if you want to know when the 100th episode is, just go count them. So I did. Here we go. We're supportive also, friends like that. That means our two-year anniversary is, like, next week. Ooh, for the two-year anniversary seven. show, we should show up. Now, I think that's, did that's we actually do two years? Because, like, did you go back to the date posted on the first one? Because I didn't record that. Because I, I feel like that, you know, we've been pretty consistent of, like, you know, being on every week, but I think there's been like one or two weeks in the last two it's years. A few, but we also had a couple special episodes to make up for that. I counted those two. That so. would mean that we were already at our two years if we were a little bit off. Yeah. It's like the week of Christmas is when you guys did the first one, and then I joined the, the week after that. Okay. So. Anyway. It's not about right that Lucas and I decided to come up with a podcast show when we should have been spending the holidays with our families to talk about toys. <laughs> well, technically, it's one of those things where I, I was thinking about this is like, oh, like, you know, should we skip any of the like episodes of the podcast like over the holidays? Right. But like, that's actually the time that you're most available, Anna. It is the time right? that I'm most available. It is six weeks where I don't have classes. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's almost like the only time that you're actually like, oh yeah, I can I can do every day kind of. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually be on TFLP, the main show, every once in a while. So there you go. So a lot to have. Plenty of episodes just for you, Anna. Fantastic! Everyone works on the holidays so, because I don't. Th there you go. Like oh, that. I will. Don't worry. I'll find work to do. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about these people peeps. Yes, we so, finally have battle chargers with their own mold, mostly. Close yeah, enough. mostly. I mean, it's pretty much their own mold, right? It's like, pretty much their own mold, yes. It's Pretty much. They I don't share know. some engineering I mean, it's not with really, Wheeljack and Sunstreaker. They don't share. I don't think they share any parts. I mean, they don't find parts that they share. Right. But they. Like, do, but they the do engineering, share some engineering is not similarity. even that close. On, I mean, my role there's a couple parts. Wrong. I guess there's a couple parts that you're like, oh yeah. It's, I think it's really close. It but that's that's me. Whatever it takes. These are. These exist now. We've always wanted them. We got the ones in Adventure, which were legend size, which were kind of cool because they hung out with the Stunicons. I always thought they belonged together. We got the club ones before that, which were redecos of Reveal the Shield Wheeljack, or Generations Wheeljack and Reveal the Shield Tracks, that thing. And those were cool. Hard to get. A little bit harder to get now. Probably easier to get now that these are out. Anyway, uh, those are all the battle chargers except for the actual G1 ones. Yep. And this is what I've really so been looking forward to because I had one of these two as a child and because I was super young when G1 was running, it was like one of the few toys that I really understood, you know, when I first got it because I was probably like four, you know, so I was tiny and not super smart. But being able to pull back a thing and have it go pop and stand up, that wasn't too hard. So I got it. I had a runabout which looks, you know, as much like this as you would expect. And Lucas has his in car mode, and I have one of mine in car mode, so I guess we can start with that. Um, they're not packaged in car mode, of course, because nothing is these days. I really miss the old days of when things were packaged in car mode, so it was like you were opening a present twice. 
Because it was like, oh, I'm opening the toy. And then it's like, ooh, I'm getting the good part out by turning into a robot. But now you start with the you start with the cream filling and then you eat the little chocolate cookies after. I kind of miss vehicle mode packaging too, actually. I think it had its reasons. And it's it I get why it's gone because obviously the robot is the draw. You know, you don't you don't buy a transformer because you want to collect cars. You buy a transformer because you want to collect robots that are also cars. Or well, some people might. I, I don't know. I'm there sure there's few, a few. There are a few I've heard of. A few. Not very many. But, but anyway, so we've got this little guy. And I want to say, you know, don't let your eyes be deceived. This Carmo looks super great, but it does have some difficulties. Um. Hopefully you can see it okay on my screen. I think Lucas has a little better lighting on his. He has his on his orange background. Um, you know, you can see this is this is the car mode. And um, both examples, Lucas and I were holding up. You know, I'm holding up my runabout. He was holding up Runamok. You can see it more clearly on Runamok that, you know, nothing is completely fleshed together. There's gaps between most of the parts that put together on the car. Um, it really stands out on the white one. It doesn't stand out as bad on the black one, but we're still there. Yeah. It's not great. There's definitely it's more egregious great. errors to be made in vehicle modes, but particularly coming off a show where last week we talked about how awesome Gigawatt is in his DeLorean mode and how that looks fantastic, to then have these right after that is uh, it's pretty jarring. Yeah, because it's a really good car mode, you know, like you can tell the two halves of my front end are not completely lined up, but they're there. Um, you know, it has head headphones, headlights, and it's bumper, and it's all molded on there, and it looks like it should, and the back's the same. I don't know, like, Wheeljack is fine, but then um, Sunstreaker is kind of similar, and I don't know if I have him. I guess I have him in bot mode, but, like, in car mode, like, his is, I, I, I feel the same way about him. As, as I do about these guys, where I don't feel like it, like, it fits together super solidly. Like, it's not horrible. Like, I think these guys are worse, but as far as that's concerned. Yeah, I agree with that. I guess we haven't and, talked about Sunstreaker on the show yet. Probably mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, yeah, we, we have it. Um, one thing I'll it's say in stuff. general is uh, that uh, Run Amok is, like, just so plain compared to Runabout. Yeah, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't open my Runamuck until I had Runabout because I wanted to open them together because I'm weird in a way. So to see that Runabout, has, you know, is black, but it has the, you know, the white, the, the, uh, sorry, the red clear parts and then also the red pinstriping in the vehicle mode. You guys can show that better than I can. Yeah. Um, and then Runamuck has nothing. I mean, it's got black windows, but black doesn't. I mean, it's the only color that stands out. He does have this gold. I don't know. It just doesn't yeah, feel I mean, I guess he has the gold, like little bit. So it, I think I guess they applied that instead of the pinstriping. The pinstripe. the yeah, yeah, for every red part on Runabout, Runamuck has a gold part. It's just they're not as fun. Yes, that's yeah, that's it. Yeah, I can't tell you why. Even um, you know, Runamuck has yeah. I guess that I guess like gold it has on the hood yeah, like where the, Runabout had yeah. nothing on the hood. Yeah, I don't know. It I just seems know. like maybe it's just that we like red and black better than white and gold. Red and black is amazing. You know, we yeah. we know that right. people like red and black together. I love red and black together. It's one of my favorite outfit combinations to wear. So yeah, it's definitely that appeal. It works better. I do think they both have the same amount of paint, but. Yeah, I guess they probably do. Well, the thing is, too, is, um, like, they both have a ton of paint on them because it's clear parts painted white. Mm -hmm. So, like, this has uh, just a crap ton of paint, like, the the side doors and the top. Like, I mean, all these parts are, like, clear and, and painted white. So, it, it has a ton of, it's just not very diverse. Right. It's not detail paint, it's body paint, which is... Right. Less exciting, but more necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas should be happy, though. He doesn't have to buy replacement wheels for this one, because it actually has the painted hubcaps. 
That is true. I do enjoy Black that. Tires, white hub caps. They look really nice, honestly. When I opened it, I was like, ooh, I'm so glad that they actually painted these hub caps because they're they're prolific in both modes. So they needed to be there and they needed to be color. So I like that a lot. Yeah, they look cool. I wish there was some paint on the headlights of some sort or anything on the front of the car. That would be nice. The tail but, you know, are How hard is that to fix? That's not that hard to fix, you know, if you have some mm -hmm. red paint or whatever color you want to make it. Or going to marker, it's not hard to fix it. Well, one thing, though, too, it's a little frustrating. So the, his chest in robot mode is, like, hanging out on the bottom, right? And so if you are rolling it, like, I mean, that's dangerously close to scraping across the bottom, you know, uh, if it's all that going to come if up. it's not. Yeah. So that, that's one thing. I mean, honestly, I just wouldn't keep these things in vehicle mode, you know, like I, I think it's like do the thing and, and whatnot, but I probably would more just put it in robot mode personally. That's a me catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit ironic, isn't it, that you have this toy that the only thing it did in G1 was roll. That was it. You pulled it back and it rolled forward, and it had no articulation. You couldn't play with it in any way. That's all it did. The one thing these guys can't do, they're very articulated, they're very fun figures, but they can't roll. <laughs> Not safely. Because not only is there the, the chest, there's also those foot extender dilly bobs out in the front of it, which we'll show you in a minute when we actually transform it, or well, when we talk about the robot mode. Yeah, no. <laughs> it, they they scrape a little bit sometimes. Like, I managed to shove right in there deep enough. I think those aren't scraping, but the chest is. So it's a bummer. Uh, well, yeah, but these don't really, it doesn't, those aren't painted, so it's, it's not like it really matters if those fake wheels. Right, that would be better if those scraped. Right, right. Yeah, it's a bummer because the car is nice looking. It's just like, I I probably spent, you know, all of, like, maybe two minutes transforming this thing. But then I probably, over the course of the rest of the day, spent, like, 20 to 30 getting it to actually light up. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, that's the thing. It just doesn't, it doesn't line up that well. And honestly, like, I feel like the uh, transformation is kind of scary, too. I don't know. I, I don't really like the... It, it It worries me with all this clear plastic, you know? And it, it just seems like stuff is kind of tight. So... I think I'm not cognizant of where the clear plastic is. I haven't noticed it, so therefore I'm not scared to transform it. Like, when, oh, I, when okay. I did him, I was like, ooh, this guy's actually easy and fun to transform. This is nice. Um, so I don't realize where the clear plastic is, so therefore I'm not scared. Which is, you well, know, yeah. one of those ignorance is bliss situations that I'm sure I'm about to undo as we talk about the rest of the figure. You guys will be like, this is exactly where the clear plastic is. Right. Like, be afraid. I'm like, damn it. But it's all right. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it for vehicle mode. You know, it's it's it really is a good car. It's just very difficult to get it to look even as good as mine does, even though, like, you can probably tell. The two front ends aren't lined up right, not perfectly, and the back is popped up just a little bit. And to me, holding it close, you know, being right here by it, it drives me crazy. It doesn't look right. <laughs> but it's way closer than it was when I first transformed it this morning. When I first transformed it this morning, the front and the back half of it didn't go together. <laughs> so I was going to say, the part that I, that just, in, in, the piece is pretty thick or whatever here, um, like in the middle. But, like, it just seems like, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But, like, it just seems like it's kind of hard to actually snap it in place. Is it, am I just crazy? What part? The hood? The rear end part? So, so the rear end part, like, this part right here, like, when you are moving this back up, it, like, like, it takes a little force to do it. Oh, yeah, it's because it's, um, I can't show because it it's black on black, but you see how it's like, it's got ridges on the, um, what do you even call that? The part that goes between the pin part that holds it together. Uh -huh. It's like ratchets, but not ratchets, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah. So it's sure. like you could I don't shave know. that down and, and decrease that resistance. It just it seems like with the clear plastic, it just kind of freaks me out a little bit when I'm transforming it. And I guess Look. again, as Anna said, she doesn't know where it's at, so it mine doesn't have the friends. resistance on the clear side, which is good. True. That's true. Yeah, the parts the parts that's giving the resistance are not clear, so. Yeah, I think they pretty much quit making joints out of clear plastic. That's a good idea. Which is good. Don't do that. Yeah. So one thing oh, that also frustrates me, sorry, it like going all over the place. One one thing that frustrates me is is the fact that the, um, like run amok only comes with one gun and run about comes with two. Like it annoys me. Does it annoy you guys or? It it does. Not at all. I think I read somewhere that it's because. Run Amok came with the wrong gun. And so Run About comes with both of them, except now they're both red. I don't know. You could strip the paint off of, I think it's this one. The back and then one, that would yeah. be correct. Yeah, that would be it. But I don't, I'm not a big fan of doing that sort of and thing. And I don't care because of me. You know, I, I don't really like a lot of guns to my fingers anyway, so I'm okay with having fewer. Um, also, my memories of this toy, I did not remember it ever having an accessory because I was like three or four years old, and therefore the accessory was instantly lost. Did they come with yeah. guns? I don't remember. Yeah, they did. They mounted on their shoulders really awkwardly. It did hmm. not look good. And you could do that still, actually. Yeah, you really can. It's kind of funny. There we go. But speaking of features that harken back to the original toy, I want to talk about these speed extender bits. Yay! Because they, they didn't have to put these wheels here, and they look pretty cumbersome. It, it does need some form of heel spur so that it, it, the uh, weight of the backpack here doesn't make the figure tip backwards. But they put the wheels there in an homage to the original toy, because that's how they would transform. And I think that's such a fantastic, neat little detail. I guess it's a big detail that they didn't have to put in, and they did, and it's so neat. Now I will say he does stand with, because I have mine like close back as far as they'll go. He still stands like that, just fine. So Good. I kind of think without him, he could still stand, but I'm not sure. I think it's a really fun homage. Like I agree, with Christian, that it's a fun thing to have. I wish I could turn it off. Like, I wish I could choose when I was going to have them out and when I was going to put them away. Because if you look, the way the leg is built, if you push that up in there, you actually get a really solid leg if you push that back in there. So if there was a way, like, you know, even if someone made a replacement part that just had a little more movement in it, then you could have a solid leg for display if you wanted to and then switch it out to the the rolly wheels if you want to display them that way and just kind of play with it however you want that would be really cool to me because i actually i do like the homage but i also don't like how spindly the legs are they're pretty spindly right this is a pretty no. thin no. empty They're leg not. no i mean the back of the leg is uh definitely and that's one thing i figured anna that you were going to pick up on like Looking at this toy, you know, beforehand, I was like, oh, like, Anna's going to hate this because, you know, the in, the inside of the arms are, you know, have that normal flip in, you know, hands. And so then they're, you know, they're hollow or whatever on the inside. And then it, the legs on the backs are, are somewhat hollow. But, I mean, I do think that they do a pretty good job of hiding the... The, the hollowness and whatnot, I guess. Like, so, I mean, you, you wouldn't be able to tell from the front. And I think it's probably, I know, like, compared to Wheeljack, I think it seems like you probably like this better than Wheeljack, I'm assuming, as far as the hollowness. Especially Runabout. I like Runabout a lot more, you know, partially nostalgia, I'm sure, but mostly because black figures hide gaps and holes a lot better and hollowness. Mm -hmm. Like, just from a distance, you don't really see it. Your eyes don't really process that there's a gap because there's no easy way to see the shadows being cast. But then when you have a white figure, 
the exact opposite. It shows the shadow. It shows the gaps really well. So you're kind of getting, you know, you're getting a good thing here and a not as good thing here, but it's okay. These guys do have a really great head sculpt. <laughs> they do. I am well, very happy with that. I was going to say, um, run about, I think, I like it a little bit better just because of the way that it's painted. Like, it's painted this, like, kind of, I don't know, gunmetal gray, I guess. And mm-hmm. so there's, like, some diversity uh, amongst the colors, whereas uh, run amok is, like, all white. Yeah, I agree with that, but I wanted to show off the white one because it's easier to see on camera. Yeah. And their heads, are, their heads are just different enough that they're different heads, which is cool. You know, like, they're the, they're the same base product, but you'll notice that um, Runabout has a different head crest oh, yeah. on its forehead. He has different cheeks. I just now noticed that. As well. So they are different heads. Because I was really bothered when I got this guy first, because I opened him first, and I was like, I honestly don't think I'd ever really looked at what Runabout looked like, but I know what Runabout looks like, as I have in my whole life. I was like, that doesn't look anything like his head. And then I got this one. I was like, oh, it's better. Okay, great. <laughs> I didn't know that they had different heads, and now they do, and that's great. Yeah, I love sure it. they always did. Yeah, I'm sure they did, too. I don't honestly know for sure, but they do now, which is cool, because otherwise they're the exact same figure in different colors. I've really been looking forward to these guys since about 2005 when they were pretty prominent in the Infiltration series from IDW. Mm. They had like a special variant cover that was just them and they were hanging around wrecking stuff. And I was like, cool, Battle Chargers. I don't know who these guys are from G1 because I was still pretty you know, young then. But uh, these are guys the ones I wanted. You know, these guys... Are fantastic, but they, they fit in. we are waiting for them. You know, the funny thing about these guys is because they have the fake chest, it actually looks better, I think, than, than Wheeljack and Sunstreaker. Like, Wheeljack and Sunstreaker, both of those are pretty square, you know? And, like, you'd like them to be just a little bit more asphalt and rounded and whatever um, to be more accurate. So these guys, like, I, I think from a silhouette i think that they look a little bit nicer than those like i like those other figures better like just because i don't like the transformation on this but that's one thing i wanted to say about this is like like you guys had said i know we're arguing about whether or not these are really close to will jack and sunstreaker or they're really different or whatever they they share a lot in common with those two figures and for me this is my first time experiencing any of that tooling and any of that like structure. This is my first time getting that traditional car build in the last couple of years. So I've been really excited for these guys because I didn't, I didn't get Willjack, I didn't get Sunstreaker, I didn't play with either of them. So therefore I didn't see, you know, the nuts and bolts that go into this form of transformation and everything. And I was just like, wow, these are actually really good. And I was really happy with them. Did you not get any of those molds? Are you getting any of the repaints that they're doing, the selects? I don't don't think so. I didn't get Spindrift and Tother One. Are those the only ones? Ford and Spinout and uh, Exhaust. Yeah, sure. (laughs) So, for some reason I thought you had gotten Exhaust. I guess not. I don't think so. Exhaust, 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 exhaust. No, I decided not to for random reasons. Gotcha. In other words, I don't remember what my reasons were, but I had them. Nice. I am excited to hopefully see this one as camshaft or downshift. Sure. More more downshift than camshaft. (laughs) I'd like to see that too. I would like to see Omnibus. This feels like they could be one. I feel like it could be too. Yeah, I would sure. like to, I don't know, I, I, like I'd like them to be a little bit remolded from this for the Omnibots. Mm-hmm. Like sure. I really kind of hope that they can actually integrate like the three modes for the Omnibots like somehow um, if they do it. I don't know. I, I guarantee you the Omnibots have to be coming. Like I just, I, I feel like with this team that they like to do this weird stuff like this, you know, where... Put putting out like characters that have never really been put out for like forever. So, yeah, last year we got Power Dashers and Reflector. There's only one more mail away team left. Yeah, that's true. 
bring them in. Articulation wise, it's good. You know, it's it's pretty much what you expect from CU Jarthrise articulation. It's got the waist, it's got the, the full legs. They go out, they go forward. Um, a lot of the joints are very common in these toys, you know. Um, the knee is a little annoying just because this part here comes yeah, off plugs quite in. often when you're moving it. But, you know, if you put a little pressure down on it, you can bend the knee all the way. Not quite 90 degrees, but close. Um, it has the ankle tilt that we're getting used to, spoiled by, just wait till it goes away again. And, you know, arms are good. There's a little bit of running into the actual real front of the car. If you move the shoulders in some ways, but it's not too bad. It doesn't yeah, happen most of the time. And then, um, you know, there's no wrist rotation, but otherwise all the arm joints you would want are there. And when I first got my run amok, his head did not move because it was painted to itself. So I had to put a lot of pressure on it that made me very nervous. But um, it does actually move. It, it has reasonable rotation and movement, tiny bit of up and down. So, you know, it's a fully articulated thing. And that's, like, required for me to like things. So I'm glad for that. Yeah, as, as much as we're ragging on the vehicle modes, it's not terrible. And it's really great that these guys are here. They're, they're important holes in the, the classics collection that, have been missing for some time. So it's, it's very nice that they are here in the party now. And uh, I really like them. I agree. So, I honestly might display mine like this because it's, it's how I remember him because, you know, you would put him away like that because he was so easy just to flip down. So that's how I remember seeing him all the time. It's just a little red and black car. That's really cute, Anna. <laughs> I'm glad that you're able to connect with that that way. I don't really have that. I, I, might, I will have that next year with Kingdom stuff. Right, that's you definitely my will. G1. So I'm excited for that kind of feeling for me. Oh, um, one other complaint I have for Run Amok is, is I wish they would have integrated some orange into him because, like, the original toy had that, like, on the shorter pylons and, and whatnot. So, I like, if they would have yeah. at least painted the, the shoulders, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I think that it would have, like, helped him to be a little bit less bland um, and... It it seems like they've been really trying to go for the show accuracy, and he was, didn't have that orange in the show. He was just uh, white. Like, I, I get that's the reason, but I agree with you. Something to break up that white in robot mode especially would be I like the orange. welcome. I love orange. I have not one, but four different orange figures on my desk right now. Wow, that's a lot of orange. Are they all yeah. Wing Thing? Orange. <laughs> no, only one is Wing Thing. Only one. One Wing Thing. Wow. And this horrific helicopter thing. I mean, it, as Ron says, uh -huh. Ron. Really big, right? All right. Look at big. Wow. Um, Ron, Ron says that's a very clean white. And I mean, I will give it to you, like, we have complained in the past about the color of white that Hasbro has used on figures. So this is a very nice white, uh, very clean white. So I'll, I'll give you that. Um, you know, I don't know. For me, I just would have liked to have the orange. But, like, again, like, you know, you can see the figure. Like, I still like it. Like, you know, I'm just nitpicking. The white actually doesn't bother me. Like, I, I like it the way it is, but I would like it to have orange just because I really like orange. Like, I don't even care that it had orange in the G1 version. It could have no orange, but if it had orange now, I'd like it more because I really like orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple for me. Yeah, but yeah. I really do like it the way it is. Like, I was happy with this figure when I opened and played with it, even though it does have flaws and problems. Like, that's the thing, you know, I often will point out all the flaws and you know the figures that we get as if i some people will misinterpret that as me really not liking them and honestly i really like this um i think it's really cool and really fun to have i think it does have flaws it's definitely not perfect it could have been better but it's really good the way it is and i don't need to go hunting down the old ones so so here's my question <laughs> anna is because you know when we did reflector like that was another toy that you have you know great nostalgia for right and you kind of 
beat those up and didn't like them because you hated the way that the shoulders work or whatever on those, right? And, you know, these have flaws too, but you're like willing to overlook them. Like, what is the difference between that and, and this? So you see, I get, I get this 20 sided die. I just roll it to see what I'm going to hate and what I'm not going to hate. Just at random. That makes it sense. It lands on the one, then that they critically fell. And it makes I hate a lot them. of sense. Yep, that's how it all works. No, See, my thought, really. I actually had a theory behind it. Um, oh, yeah, you're is, probably right, I bet. I, I was thinking that um, Magic Square, like, released a version that you haven't gotten yet, right? And But you've already gotten the Hasbro version, and you don't want to have to be bothered to sell it, and one per character and all that. And so, like, the fact that you have that slot filled with the Hasbro version, but you really want the Magic Square version, that's the issue. That's part of it. That's part of it. There are... I want any version of it that has the different sculpts. I like... Because I have the toy version. So, you know, the middle guy was an entirely different looking figure. So, I want that for my reflector. Also, there's just certain things that just, like, are deal breakers for me in toys. And the weird shoulders on such a humanoid figure just really bothers me. Like, we already talked about before that on... On flat Not face, humans, here, it doesn't bother me at all because he doesn't look humanoid at all. You know, he looks like a battle mech, so it's fine. I don't really care that the shoulder joints are a little bit off, but on the very humanoid reflector bots. But on the bots that have, like, a giant camera on their, ch like, filling up their chest. Yeah. Otherwise, they're totally adorable guys. They just hate out, play cards on Friday nights. <laughs> okay, Cameras on sure. their chests. Okay. Randall says that we need repaints uh, that homage the Devastation game. That would be cool. That. Sure. I don't remember how many different color schemes of that there are because I quit that game because I hated it. But the design looks <laughs> Anna, do you remember? No, I don't. But I think Randall said earlier there were two. I think earlier he said, okay. I think he said blue and uh, what was the other one? I remember the blue one. Yeah. But yeah, sure. Bring them on. I think it's a simple good time. I like that. I think it's a blue and yellow. No. I'm never going right. to do an army builder. Like, I'm never going to buy, you know, 50 of something. I'm never going to sit down and make a video of myself opening sweeps for 50 hours. Whatever it was that Rick did. But, you know, if they give those dudes names, and I'll, I'll buy one each. And that'll be great. Right. Fill in the ranks. Bob. Gold was the other one, blue, yellow, and gold. So, but if their names were I'll buy, I'll buy a three pack yellow of and gold, Christian. just like, just like I still want to buy my three pack of multicolor cogs. What if they were run a blue, run a yellow, and run a gold? Uh, I would think that was slightly lame, but I'd still do it. I would. Perfect. Different dudes. Yes, these are fun enough to buy the paints of. fathers do shoulder me. Wait, what? What? Ron is that in English? Ron the chat asks if Rat Trap's shoulders bother me. Who's? Rat, rat trap. trap. The coming oh, rat, rat Trap. trap. Because his shoulders are in his back assembly instead of being connected to his torso. And yeah, they bother me because there's space there and they're not going to have the right range of movement. But I'm not you already have your fancy okay. third-party rat trap. Yeah, my so. fancy third-party that's the same size and about the same articulation, costs three times as much. And Man, I am glad I dodged that bullet because I was really ready to go with those Legends dudes and then Kingdom got announced. And I was like, oh, well, now I don't need to do that. No, that rat trap is very regretimous for me, but it's okay because I like it better than the one that's coming and I just keep it and don't think about it too much. Yeah. So, but yeah, uh, run about and run amok. Like, I still would say to, like, if you have nostalgia for these guys, I would go ahead and get them. Um, you know, I, I don't think that they're bad. Like, I, I kind of like the other cars better, but, you know, they're, they're good homages. I think, I think transforming them and moving around a couple times will probably help the gappiness that we're seeing in vehicle mode right now, just because the parcel. You know, not, I guess they'll wear down enough, not, you know, in a bad way, just they'll start coming together a bit easier. 
Yeah, I, I think they probably will, too. Like, I think working joints a little bit will probably get that car mode to line up a little bit better, which is fine. I, you know, we're role reversing tonight, whereas I'll usually, like, very carefully, like, be like, I kind of recommend this only if you meet, like, eight criteria. Be careful. Make a checklist. And today, that's Lucas's job. And my job is to say, you know, go get these because they're awesome. I think they're great. Get one. You don't need both because that would be ridiculous. They're basically the same thing. But if you need both, you <laughs> yeah, get them. like, gonna get. I mean, it's kind of like getting one seeker. Come on. Yeah, but okay. Imagine you're not a completionist. Okay, first thing. Imagine you're not a completionist. You have no idea who the G1 characters are. You don't really care, but you think it's a cool toy. Do you really need both, or do you just need the pretty one? You just need the pretty one. I don't I think that I would guess. probably buy that. Like if I if I if I had it's no a, connections at all to Transformers, really. right? If I had, if I had no connections to Transformers, like I probably I'm wouldn't probably get either. Buy but yeah, yeah. But no connections <laughs> to Transformers. I say you just like you're you're not a G one person. You're not a completionist. Basically, you're me. <laughs> I'd have I mean, a really I, hard time I to guess, technically. To, you have a really hard to, time to take my perspective. That's true. Yeah. Well, and like, like, let's say theoretically, Anna, that you had gotten the Iron Factory figures as well. Like, those are sold as a set, and so yeah. like, you'd have to break up a set in order to, like, do your one per mold per character or whatever kind of deal. Yeah, so. I wouldn't have got these guys if I had the Iron Factory ones. And I think I enjoy these more than the Iron Factory ones. I can't remember if I got the Iron Factory ones or not. It's all a blur. I played with the mold did. at least. Yeah, those are like those are all like the Iron Factory ones. If you want to talk about using the same mold, like those, all those cars are pretty much the same. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, honestly, like just having this conversation, I'm not actually sure why I got both of these, other than the fact that I did, and I'm fine with it. But. Really not sure why I have run amok other than I don't know, they're friends or something. They go as a set. They're right, right, yeah. They complete each it's, other. It's not like me to care, but I have both and there's no regrets, so I must care. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I will say that I do uh, prefer run about to run amok, but like For if, sure. I had to if I had to choose one. There's a big gap between these two and how much I like them, but it's partially nostalgia goggles for me. So, um, I will mention we are going to have an Oof My Wallet uh, tomorrow night, so check that out. Um, that should be lots of fun. That's going to be uh, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the YouTube uh, channel. And uh, last night we did a TFYLP talking about Transformers sublines. Uh, that we continued the conversation from a couple weeks ago when we went long and decided to split it up into two shows. So uh, check out, um, you know, Rick and Peter and, and whatnot. And we, we talked, we covered Bot Bots just slightly, but we, Christian, we kind of said it wasn't really a subline. That it was really more of its own. Because, like, we, we said, like, yeah. crossover lines, like something that was, like, its own, like, a... a large line or whatever like doesn't really count like it's really just more of a a small kind of you know yeah, it's like its own thing yeah it, yeah kind of kind of thing so and um we said that we should also have some of the guys from hasbro to to come on and announce whenever they cancel bot bots for you <laughs> bot bots will live forever <laughs> it will never be canceled It'll be one of those things where it's like at five below or, or whatever or Aldi or something. <laughs> like how Creo yeah, you, is showing back up at Dollar many, General. You want to know how many five belows or Aldi or Dollar Generals I will hunt down for each of those bot bots? <laughs> I will go to the ends of the earth. Oh, and be yeah. Wow. Yeah. So... How sad will it be though, like if they show up at, at Dollar Generals or whatever, but then they're like unpainted? 
<laughs> and they're just like straight, like just remold or like they're they're the same figures as the ones that came out before, but they give them a new name and they don't paint them. How upset would you be? I don't know. That would maybe be kind of upset. <laughs> Now, Sorry, are we talking like think pure white sense. on painted? Or are we talking like just no? I'm just talking colors they're various colors or whatnot. Color. They just wouldn't have any paint. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope this isn't a thing. I'm sorry for even thinking of that. So it's a conundrum. Sounds like you're creating nightmare bot bots. Right, right. Christian's they like they have different names. They're different characters. I kind of get them, but hmm. <clears throat> oh, um, poor Christian. So anyway, but yeah, so check check all that out. Um, cut the tape, uh, Rick opened up his, uh, Snake Mountain, so that was a, a huge long video, and I think that he said that he was gonna actually open up, like, Jabba Sail Barge, maybe, and, I don't know, some other of those large figures that he has as well, so now that his, like, basement's kind of coming together, so... And then uh, Book Club, uh, Sunday nights at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. That's on the Discord channel. And this week they are covering uh, more than the CI 14 through 16. Yep, come and check it out. It'll be fun. Last week we talked about rom robot romance. This week we will not. Wait, 14 Dead. through 16, they, like, I may have to show up for that one. I have a page from... 16. You do. Uh, you do. So, Answers a little bit of mentioning robot romance. I was going to say, this. Happy. It's not happy, you're right. So, spoilers. So, anyway, well, thank you everyone uh, for joining us tonight Randall, Catherine, Ron, and everyone else who is watching. I uh, appreciate it. And we will see you guys next week. See you.